Welcome to part 2 of uh, this exercise, solving a simple classification problem with Python. Alright, so let's continue with our exercise. So the next exercise is to create training and test set. Now we use um, a scaler, alright? So make sure you have installed a scaler in, um, in your Python environment. Okay, you can either use pip, pip install uh, a scaler. That should do it. Okay, so uh, using a scaler, we will import the train test split function. Okay, what does the train test split function do? Um, it actually uh, split the array or matrices into random train and test subset so that uh, you don't have to split your data on your own. This function will uh, split your data uh, randomly uh, so that um, your experiment will become more uh, natural. All right. Okay, so let's uh, try it out. So using the train test split function, um, using the x and y value. So where do we have the x, y value? Is here. Um, x is the feature name, and y is the label. All right. So if I insert cell above, if I print x. I have something like this. So these are the x and these are the y data. Alright. So we want to use this to the um, train test split function and randomly uh, split into its train and test. Um, uh, values all right so let's run it okay no problem and then we will apply scaling all right using a scalar and min max scalar all right so we are using a min max function uh, and you don't have to do your own function um, it will do it for you all right so the scalar will uh, fit the um, x train and x test uh, values um, to scale it down to a min max value right so let's run it if you want to see the data in x train you can just print it out and you can see it on your uh, for yourself all right okay so now let's build our model so the first model is logistic regression and we will fit our train uh, value here All right so let's try it out immediately we will get um, the accuracy of the logistic regression classifier which is 0 0.75 on our training and 0 0.4 in our testing so this is logistic regression let's look at decision tree right when we run decision tree so decision tree looks like it performed better as the classifier for training set is set as uh, one okay almost all of the uh, training is uh, true accurate and the accuracy of the test set is 0 0.73 now let's go on with the uh, decision tree uh, max we want to avoid of because probably we have some sort of overfitting here now um, we have some sort of uh, lower accuracy and of its training and testing okay can we run it again? Okay. A different run will yield a different result. Alright. So 
probably if you run the uh, correct uh, splitting or you have more data you should have a better uh, result right so let's use nearest neighbor classifier right so a nearest neighbor classifier has a better uh, result here okay and this is linear discriminant analysis all right okay okay how about caution knee base so this is the result and the last one would be support vector machine all right with this kind of accuracy all right so uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, see okay so we know the can and algorithm was the most accurate model that we tried and the coefficient matrix provide an indication of error made so um so let's do a confusion matrix so this is the confusion matrix for k and n and um as you can see here is this the train the test uh, the x test right the confusion matrix for uh, and and sorry the confusion matrix for y test so um all of the test uh, value are true okay so we have four five uh, 15 test value right this one 15 and all the test value are true okay now um, I think if I'm not mistaken if you want to plot this this is a function right so when I run this um, it's like we are redoing it all over again because we we call up the train test split function here um, okay similar as what we have done on top uh, this is just uh, a repetition of the process but we have another additional one which is a function right so now we have function plot fruit can end so inside this function um uh, it will create a plotting of the classif classification so we can see uh, a clearer classification so uh, by doing the function i can plot as many times that i like okay so the parameter is the train uh, input and output of the train value and uh, i think the next parameter is the uh, number of epoch right so if i know let's see i see number of neighbors right number of neighbors so we try out five okay so this this will take some time because it runs it call up the function on top here so let's wait it up all right so it's finished so now we can see that we have several regions uh, of fruits all right so this is lemon okay and then this is orange and the red region is apple and the green region is mandarin all right so interesting let's run it again with one neighbor All right, so um, if we choose one neighbor, um, we are able to get here this one. This is classified as orange, all right? So it's almost a correct classifier. Um, and This is 10, right? 10 neighbor. Alright, hold on. Okay, for 10 neighbor, it looks like, like this. So, 
you see here the the region of mandarin is almost cut off here right and uh, some of the region of orange are also taken by apple right so let's run it for five neighbor 